So how is everyone? I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying this Monday. For those of you parents whose children have gone back to school, I hope that you are enjoying the quiet. I certainly am. But hold on. What are we talking about now? We're talking about the fact that there are things going on in Pullman. There has been yet another young person lost their life over at the University of Washington State. And people are losing their minds. People are starting to freak out. What is going on? One of these students have gone on to social media and said, what is going on? We've just seen recently, at the beginning of the year, a young freshman who lost his life. And they're saying that this was a potential hazing. That is still under investigation. But then we have this new death that they're saying is a potential suicide on campus. Young STEM student. And look, what is going on? You had Brent Lee Kopacker shot by SWAT. You've got another student who has now taken his life, and you've got Brian Koberger sitting there waiting for his preliminary hearing in June. You've got to admit, do you know what I mean? If you was a parent you had children in this area, you'd be thinking, what is going on around here? What is going on? And look, I get it. Students, college, university, there can be pressures, there can be bullying, there can be all sorts of things happening, and sometimes that can end tragically. Now, some have said that in the Hannah Clary case, that could have been a suicide. Some have said that it was an accidental situation. Some have said numerous things, what we're not going to get into in this video, because it's connected loosely to the Idaho 4 victims, and people lose their fucking minds when you start talking about it. But at the end of the day, we've got all of this stuff happening over in Pullman. There's a lot of stuff going on. Can you remember when we was looking into this and we started hearing about the deaths and things happening around this place? To people was actually coming out and saying, this is fucking normal. This is normal. But it's not. Now the spotlight is on and we are looking. We've got two people who have, well, two people this year who have lost their lives. Two students that are now deceased at this place. You've got Brent Lee Kopacker, like I say, who was shot by SWAT. You've got Brian Koberger, who is awaiting his preliminary hearing. What is in the water in that area, guys? Let's have a look at this look. Let's drag this over here. So this says, this basically says, um, Brian Koberger's alma mater, Washington State University, rocked by second campus death. Washington State University is reporting its second death on campus so far in 2023. Months after one of its former students, Brian Cove was accused of killing four students at the nearby University of Idaho in their off-campus home on November 13, 2022. Um, I'm not going to repeat some of it because I've basically told you. This is the young man, Luke Tyler, who there is a potential hazing connection to. He's the first one to lose his life. Um, they're saying that the Whitman County um, Coroner sorry, will um, release the deceased male's name and cause of death at a later time. And WSU Police Chief Jenkins um, told KHQ that the deceased male was a college-aged. Um, the outlet also reported that the person's death was a probable suicide. Um, the two deaths on campus come after the Coburger situation. Um and it also says down here, about a month prior to his arrest in November 2022, Pullman police fatally shot 36-year-old Brent Lee Kopacker near the WSU campus because he was threatening to kill his roommates, authorities said at the time. So yeah, look, I'll bring my beautiful face back up. But there's a lot going on. Is it connected? Is it not? Some people will start to speculate now. Of course they will. Because you've got to think that so far, we've got the four students over in Idaho who have lost their lives. Sadly lost their lives. Brent Lee Kopak with a military history said he was suffering from PTSD. But ultimately, he was threatening to kill people. He was threatening to kill people. Some have speculated whether Brian Koberger was indeed involved in Brent some way 
And could he have been? I think more than likely they knew one another. And if you look on the obituary pages, what celebrates Brent's death, there is actually a post that claims that that is Brian Koberger saying about losing a friend. There you go. Could be someone posing as Brian. Of course it could, but ultimately it could be Brian. Who knows? What I'm saying is there is something in the water around this place. There's something in the water around this place. And they need to look at it. It ain't fucking right. If I had children in this place, I would be wanting to know what is going on. What the hell is going on over in Pullman? Let me know down below what you think, and I'll catch you all in the next one.